All right, so now we're doing 6Q reducing by steps. This is by G964, and 83% of the people like it. Uh, we're going to be given an array of integers, a function f of two variables, and an initial value, all right? Uh, so basically the task is going to be to write the following functions of two variables, which is like a sum, a minimum, a maximum, a lowest common multiple, and then a uh, lowest common uh, denominator. we got to remember these uh, math.abs right here. Uh, and then also we're going to have this function right here, which uh, is going to take whichever, it's going to call out one of these functions, and then we're going to have an array that's going to do these functions on the array, and then we're going to do a reduce. So going down the array, we're going to have, uh, hopefully you know what reduce is, and then we're going to have an initial value right here. Uh, so we're going to go down the array, and uh, like this one, the initial value is whatever is A and 0, which is 18. So the greatest common uh, denominator uh, for 18 and 18 is 18. And then the greatest common denominator between 18 and 69 is going to be 3. And then we're going to do the greatest common denominator of uh, 90 and 3, which will be 3. And then we're going to do it of 78 and 3, which will be 3. And then we'll do 65 and 3, which will be 1, and then 1 all the way until the moon after that. Uh, and then we got the least common number and blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, notes, the form of the parameter FCT in this uh, changes according to the language. We, we don't have to deal with that. I don't know what this is. Uh, here's some stuff we can look at, but I got something better up here. Uh, and then reduce function in our language to have a general view of all Hopefully we know what the reduce is by 6Q. Uh, anyway, so let's get started. So what we're going to do for this uh, greatest common divisor is we're going to use this uh, recursion, which is the active function calling itself uh, to use to solve problems that contain smaller subproblems, all right? And we're specifically going to use this uh, the recursion on this greatest common divisor algorithm, all right? And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to say if y exists, we're going to call uh, the greatest common divisor function, and we're going to change the x into y, and we're going to change the y into x remainder operator y. And that's because uh, of this right here. So 14 goes into 48 three times, remainder 6. 6 goes into 14 two times, remainder 2. And then 2 goes into 6 three times, remainder 0. So 2 must be the greatest common divisor. Basically, that's how that works. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say if y exists, we're going to say, uh, what was it? Return GCDI. And then we're going to have y here, and then we're going to do uh, x remainder operator y. All right? And if not, whoops, whoops. And if not, we're going to return uh X, but remember we have to do we have to deal with these math.abs all over here because we've got all these uh, negatives right around here. So we're going to say math.abs x math.abs for the absolute value. You don't know about it. It's right here. It'll tell you all about it. Uh, now we're going to do the least common multiple, which uh, if you just think about it logically, we're going to have to do return a times b. And then we're going to divide that by the greatest common divisor, right? So uh, divided by GCDI A B, just like that. So it's going to call this one up here and throw it into this one. But we're going to also have to deal with the math.abs here. And we're going to say math.abs, all right? Now we've got the sum, which we don't got to deal with any more math.abs after that. It's, uh, wherever it said it. Anyway, so we're going to do the sum here, which is going to be return a plus b and we're going to do a max here so we're going to say return math dot max a b move this over all right and then we're going to come here and we're going to say uh, return math dot min a comma b just like that and then down here, we're going to do that, uh, the little reduction, the reduce thing that we're doing. So we're going to call the function here. We're going to say, uh, first we're going to throw all these into a new array. We're going to say, let uh, result equal an empty array. 
and then we're going to say a for loop, we're going to say for let i equals zero, well i is less than r dot length, I'm going to say i plus plus, iterating through this r, through the r array, and then we're going to say uh, result dot push, and now we're going to push uh, whichever function, and then the a and b, and the a is going to be, well I'll show you what it is, so we're going to put fct, whichever the function is, and we're going to push in there uh, the initial value, and then we're also going to have in there array at the current index, all right? But every time we go through it, we're going to have to have a new initial value. We're going to have to reset the initial value to whatever is, is currently at the current index in the result. And so for that, we're going to say init equals result at the current index as well. And now let's do a console.log, oops, console.log result, so we can see if this even looks good. That looks like that, yes, 18, uh, what is it, the, where, where are we right here? So the uh, greatest common, the, the starting thing right here, the initial value is a at zero, so that's going to be this. So the greatest common divisor of 18 and 18 is 18, and we already went through that to, in the beginning. All right, so we're going to say return result, and let's test it out. All right, and attempt it. All right, good. Submit it. All right, and very much like this one, let's go over to mine. You can check out all the rest of these. Uh, they're all right here. They're pretty much all different, but they pretty much get it done. Uh, they use Most of these use the map instead of the for loop, but whatever. It's easier to understand with the for. You can learn about the map later. Let's go to mine. Uh, very much like it. Just me on this one. Best practice, and we'll see you next time.